So good morning, welcome back to the channel. So today, a little bit of a different one. I was thinking, because at the minute in the UK, there's something called Veganuary going on. And it's basically people trying to be vegan for January alone. Now, I don't think I'd want to do that for the whole month, but I'm just gonna try and see if you can still bulk on a vegan diet. So if you've not watched my previous video, they should hopefully be able to put a link up there to go back to it. And that's just to see how many calories I was eating in a normal day. That was around 4,600 calories on that day, which is quite a high amount. I'm going to see if I can still reach that goal comfortably on a vegan diet. So this morning I'm going to have my Fuel 10K cereal, which is actually vegan, which is a good thing. So hopefully I'm going to have a decent sized meal of that, get around 700 calories like I did in that previous video and then that's going to set me off to a good start. I need to have a look to see if my protein powder or mass gain is actually vegan, I'm not too sure if it is, but what it's going to involve is me heading to the shops very shortly just to try and plan out a kind of all my meals later for the day. So breakfast time, we've got 128 grams of cereal. So this is the Fuel 10K cereal, the same as I'm normally having every day, and this comes to 550 calories so far. <clears throat> so it's a decent start to the day. Like I say, I do need to double check to see if the protein I've got in the back is vegan and I can actually have that. I have a sneaky feeling that it won't be, but I'm not too sure. Then what it's gonna be is probably have some fruit or something, try and get the calories up a little bit more. From then, I'm going to go straight to Asda and start having a look at some meals that I can have for later in the day. Simply because I want to try and have at least four meals today. Just so then that way, if I can get them all around about 1,000 calories, it should easily help me get the 4,500 calorie mark quite comfortably. Because I'm a mess. I've just had a look at my mass gainer and unfortunately it is vegetarian friendly but not vegan friendly and my protein do their own selection of vegan protein so I would assume that it definitely <laughs> can't really be crossed off the list as being a vegan substitute or a vegan meal or anything like that so technically I'm not really allowed to have that, which is a bit of a bummer to be fair, but you know, never mind. We're going to find some calories another way. <laughs> then I'm not cheating in any of this, so yeah. Like I say, I'm thinking banana, orange, apple, just to add to a little calorie counter down the side. Just so you know how many calories that we're on so far. So, a lot of messing around this late morning of sister's car and other bits like that. Finally made it to Asda, ready to check on what kind of meals I can pick up or even create myself. So I'm gonna have a look. I feel like they have like a vegan section, but I'm not too sure. So the game plan is gonna go in, see if I can find anything just so like ready meals that are vegan or anything that I wouldn't mind eating myself. If we're gonna find anything like that. I might have a look if they've got any like vegan substitute like meats and things like this because normally on a Tuesday night we'd be having uh, a curry as a family it's my turn to cook so I'm thinking if I can find some kind of chicken substitute and still have a curry later tonight that should hopefully be okay I'm not too sure on things like naan bread I don't think would be a vegan simply I think they make milk with it and stuff like that so I'll have to double check uh, rice I think should be good, but yeah, I'll double check on all these things as well as I'm probably walking around. I'll have a quick Google, just make sure and have a look at the uh, the back of some of the rice packets or something see if they are uh, suitable for vegans. Okay, gonna head in there now, just have a quick look and see what we can get. We finished all the shopping in Asda. I bought a few bits for mum as well, but the total price was about £28. So minus the stuff for mum, which I think came to about seven pounds. It cost me about 20 to 20, 22 pounds roughly in food for this like little challenge. Head home now, get one of these meals ready and start eating that ready for the gym session that we're about to have. So yeah, I'll, uh, I'll see you back home guys. So back home, finally. 
So the first thing that I'm going to be having is this plant-based smoky tofu burrito. So I'm thinking I've got quite a lot of stuff here basically. So I've got that. And then for another meal tonight, because I've realised that the curry sauce we've got is actually like vegetarian, so it's not vegan. So I'm going to have this like plant-based sweet katsu curry to join in with everyone else. So other stuff that we've got, uh, two vegan burgers, we've got some southern fried like little chicken bites and I've bought like some nuggets as well because apparently they're quite nice. One of my mates works at Asda and he said he's had them before and they're not bad. have got some salt and vinegar flavoured crisps. I've also got some marshmallows as well so it's going around thinking I've not got enough calories but we probably do actually now. Put these themselves, if I ate the whole pack, are about 700 calories. So if I eat the whole lot, I should, including breakfast this morning, I should hopefully have around about 5,000 calories, which is a bloody decent amount, but it did cost me a hell of a lot. So, yeah, I think 22 pounds for 5,000 calories is a bit excessive. I could not do this every day. So, yeah, there we go. So hats off to those that have actually completed Veganuary and have any money left in their bank accounts because this is bloody expensive stuff. So dinner is now ready at last. I've warmed up these southern fried popper things. It doesn't actually give you instructions to do that, it just says they're ready to eat. But I didn't really want to eat them cold, I just fancied warming them up a little bit. So I've done that. Um, I've chucked two packets in, so I think that should be just around about 350 calories maybe. And then the actual burrito itself is about 650 as well, roughly. So that should be about 1000 calories. I'm just going to take it all out the other night, it doesn't actually smell that bad, it smells quite nice. So hopefully it's actually a decent meal. Okay, so finally sitting down eating this, it does actually look quite nice to be fair. I'll take the knife and fork out of the way. So, yeah, I'm quite excited to eat this. It smells good. I don't know about these like substitute chicken little ball things, but we'll give it all a go anyway. Uh, we'll just start eating this and then it's off into the gym for me. So, started off okay not actually that bad tasted all right i'm getting towards the end of it now and i'm not really a fan of onions and all you can pretty much taste in it now is onions not really the nicest thing i'm getting a bit sick of eating it now but i'm going to try and just finish it off there's only probably realistically about four or five mouthfuls left and then it's done yeah. Yeah, smash this off, into the gym we go, and we'll go from there really. It is gym time, nice and chilly in here, so we've got the heater on. Gonna start getting a little bit warmed up. In my head, I was gonna go for 110 today, then for a bench press, uh, which would be a new PB. Judging by today's kind of feelings and food scenario and everything else, I'm not too sure if I'm going to shoot for that, but I'm going to get warmed up. So you just start increasing the weight and yeah, go from there. So, bit of a bummer, but we can't have any pre-workout simply due to the fact that it says on, a, on the, the tub, it's like, oh, may contain milk, eggs, a lot of other stuff. So I was just like, oh, bit annoying, but there we go. But yeah, stop waffling on now. Crack on the gym session. The first set at 96 is about to take place. Like I said, hopefully if I can get about four reps, I'll see how getting to four feels. If I feel like I can definitely get the fifth, I'll go for it. If I haven't, if I'm a bit, mm, I might not, just simply because I don't have a spot with me today. So, yeah, if I can get the four, I feel comfortable with four, then I'll try and aim for three sets of four, and hopefully it should be a decent little bit, or a decent start to the chest, anyway. So, first 
first set's done, we only got the four reps. Felt quite heavy actually, but yeah, still felt all right. Like, I'm unsure. I find like quite a lot of the time when I'm doing it in the garage, like it takes me a little bit more time to actually get warmed up. Like I feel like my second working set is sometimes actually better than my first. So yeah, we'll see how the second one goes. It did not get any easier on the second set. We only got three reps at a time. Gym session is complete. Wasn't the best one I've had in a while. In fact, it was pretty like average. Um, but we've done something. So like I say, time to make some food now. I might have, I'm gonna chuck some nuggets, maybe some of the corn sausages. I don't know if they just do both the burgers and just chuck it all in one thing and see if I don't like anything, they can just kind of get rid of it really. I might just do that. Bit of a waste of food, but you know, I might not actually like something, spend half an hour cooking it or 20 minutes cooking it and then be like, oh, don't want to eat that. So yeah, I might just chuck it in at one go and go from there really. And hopefully we can get at least maybe a thousand calories for that meal that brings us around, around about 3,000 mark. So the food is now ready, about to get it all out of the oven. When I first kind of put the burgers or got them out of the packet, they really didn't smell that great. Like they're probably gonna be the worst one to eat, but like I said, I'm gonna give it all a try. So I've got rice, I've got nuggets, I've got sausages, and I've got burgers. So I'm just gonna chuck it all on the plate I'm not too sure calorie wise what I'm going to get from this simply because I've not yet eaten it so until then I won't exactly know but I should be able to input a figure up here somewhere just so they how many calories I've got from this meal but yeah let's start putting it all on the plate. So as I have already mentioned Reggae Reggae Sauce is vegan. So this is what the plate's currently looking like. Hell of a lot of food. I'm just gonna go around and just individually try a little bit of each without any sauce, without anything else. I'm just <laughs> kind of give you my, uh, my thoughts on all. So we'll start off with the nugget because they don't actually look that bad. It didn't smell bad either, so it's still smell right now. So we'll, uh, we'll give this a try. Yeah, they, they taste all right. They, uh, yeah, surprise, <laughs> surprise, they taste all right. They just kind of taste a bit. I'd always say just like normal, really. Sausage. Yes. Yeah. That's also surprised me. I had a feeling they would taste weird as well. I had just had a feeling they'd be very almost oniony like that burrito I had earlier, but no, actually not bad at all to be fair. <laughs> Time the burger. Now these ones have really kind of like put me off the whole thing. Yeah, they didn't smell great and they didn't look great. Just looked like really soggy, horrible, like slop just kind of put together, but. Yeah, also not bad at all to be fair. <laughs> so actually she really surprised me. They had everything here, they were like looking like the worst things to eat, but no. Surprisingly not that bad. I feel like I can quite comfortably with some sauce just demolish this whole meal. But yeah, I'm gonna crack on eating this now. And then we shall see you at the end. Yeah, I feel like it was 
more exciting food, it might, I might have been able to finish it off, but unfortunately not. There's a lot of food for 1200 calories, which is, yeah, is what I'm trying to get, them, get across. It's a lot of food. Final meal of the day. I've got a katsu curry with like fried sweet potato bits, rice, and then obviously the curry as well. So I'll give you a look at what this is like here. Not gonna lie, the actual curry just <laughs> it just looks like baby food or something to be fair, but there we go, 632 calories I think for this meal. I'm glad it's quite a small one because honestly after the meal I had before, I just, bear in mind it is now five to nine. I am still so full, like genuinely so full. Yeah, like I say, I'm just gonna eat this now and then that's gonna be the end of the video. So yeah, I'm just gonna crack up with this. day uh, like I say I think it was just under 4,000 calories depending on the marshmallow consumption I actually found that a lot more difficult than I first thought I thought I'd kind of breeze through that for some reason I don't know if it's just this particular day I just I'm not too sure whether it's because I started eating quite later on in the day I don't think I actually had my first kind of meal brought back from Asda until about two o'clock which isn't realistically that good for bulking. Normally, on like a normal day, as you've probably seen, at that point I'm about 2,000 calories deep. So yeah, I think if I was gonna do this again, I'd probably try and eat a little bit earlier in the day and try and cram all my food in uh, in the afternoon and at night. But yeah, thanks for watching again, guys, and uh, look forward to seeing you in the next video. Nowadays, nothing really is ice me. Only one of me and nobody's like me. Phone ringing and I tell him it's ice. I got wifey on, blinging she icy.